field is set, ready to run. Stand by for a start. And they're racing. Give them a cheer, Australia, wherever you're listening. What a win in a cup we'll never forget. Welcome back to... Your, the Reggie, right. there we go. There we well, go. All right. Welcome back to the Reggie's Punt Show. I was like, oh, is it the mic? Is it the headphones? You good, mic? Yeah, we're on. We're, we're on. on. We're on. Hey, with two blokes, it could have been anything, but we decided are. to have fun instead. Before we get into it, remember, let's get more responsibly and a massive shout out to Better, the punting juggernaut. The bigger, the better, bookie. Download the app. Start punting with them today. They got heaps of new promos, heaps of new offers for us, and uh, we love it. Heaps of work on the app too. It's very good to use. It is. It's awesome. Mm. Um, look, I've got a little bit to cover here, and the Greyhound is actually going to run. This week's Greyhound runs in about five minutes. Ooh. But just before that, guess what weekend it is? It's Bowen Cup this weekend, Tommy. Oh, Bowen Cup, Bowen Cup, Bathurst, everything's happening. We were there last year, 4,000 people just under through the gates. Mm. Uh, normally they get a couple of hundred on normal race day, and then last year when we went – Unreal, wasn't it? Oh, it was a fucking unreal event to go to. Unreal. Um, so if you're in, obviously people travel there. Mm. Lots of Bowenites go, but yep. uh, lots of people travel. So looking forward to it. It's their biggest day of the year. It's where they make all their money. So yeah. get down there, spend heaps of coin at the bar. Don't care what you do with the bookies. Just spend heaps of coin at the bar. Keto would be flat out, wouldn't he? Oh, yeah. Imagine it. Oh. Imagine it around there at the moment. Imagine him talking about it too. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm fucking. Got to get down there. Just fucking, fucking it. Who else is going to do it? <laughs> hey? Come on. Get to work. Get to work. <laughs> uh, he goes hard, the big fella. Oh. They all do down there. They do a great job, and it's a fucking awesome meet to go to. Yep. Get around it. Uh, hey, I copped it in the RLC <laughs> after the episode. Oh, is that about um, the bath? About yeah, old... a couple of things. <laughs> so first one was... I called it Conrad Strait instead of Conrod Strait. Oh, how dare you. I actually went back and checked because I said, no, I fucking didn't, but I did. Mm. <laughs> so you got me I there. I wound them up. Um, and then when you asked me, you said, uh, "Who's has is Lowndes as seven the most? Yeah, yeah. And I just went, oh, yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it wasn't. Yeah. Peter Brock, the trophy's uh, named after him, oh, the Peter Brock Trophy, if you yeah, win. Yeah, right. He won it nine times. Funniest <laughs> thing, they've... Grilled me on there. Yeah, it's drilled. And yeah. then it said the great Peter Brock won it nine times. And I commented on it and said, Yeah, but Lounsey won it seven times, which is more. <laughs> or something like that. Mm. And I think he thought I was serious. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> he's written this big spiel back about how Lounsey has actually stood on the podium the most times or something like okay. that. And I'm like, Mate, I'm taking the piss. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, the boys are fired up. It's they, a big weekend for them. Fuck yeah. Big day. I've actually started seeing a lot of sort of posts getting around, people setting up down there already. Yeah, you know, yeah They got yeah. their campsites. They're cooking shit. They got yeah. tins in hand. Oh. If you're there, if you were there on Wednesday <clears throat> or Thursday, that's a fucking big effort. Because mm. that's a lot of days. Fucking of last thing that piece. I'd want to hear four days into a <laughs> session waking up is, <laughs> ow! Ow! Well, you wouldn't be waking up to that, surely. No. No, you'd be staying up to it. <laughs> but uh, great time. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try and make it down there one year. It's one of those things you got to do, That's I right. reckon. I've just reached over and grabbed something, Tom. Oh, here it is. I'll just face it this way. Here it is. Now, as you know, Groper's Greyhounds is actually sponsored by the Lover Greyhound Organisation. It sure uh, is. Non-for-profit or organisation uh, where you can actually adopt a previously raced greyhound. Yeah, exactly. Unreal. If you can't do that, um, you can also donate to the uh, to the cause. And this was all set up by our mate Ken Booty, uh, sure who trains was. out of Rockhampton. We get a race named after us after the podcast every week. Yep. And he sent us this. He actually very... dropped it off to my house. That's how good of a bloke he is. What a... I hope he was coming this way anyway. Yeah, he was. Good. Yeah. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> This was the very first one, I think. Yep. It was, it was the Reggie's first podcast, race. Maiden, over 407 metres. Showtime Pete got the chocolates. We got it in a and frame. And we got it in a frame uh, of Showtime Pete crossing the line, and it's got the name of the race down the bottom, Rocky yep. Greyhound Racing Club, the Reggie's podcast, Maiden, 407 metres. Good on you, mate. Trainer, well Ken done. Booty. We appreciate yeah, it, bros. 
Uh, oh, a 16 start maiden he was. Mm. Wow, well, Kenny, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but so he found the right race for him. That's right. Um, look, we can't thank the Love of Greyhound organisation and Ken Booty enough. Go get for around the support. them. So get around them in whatever way you possibly can. That's right. Now this week. What do we got? Because I need to get on it. I had to search long and hard for this. <laughs> Go you? to Sandown Park, okay. race five, number six, and get on it before Sandown I Park. give you the spiel. Race five. Um, don't say the name. Number six. So. That. That's him. Okay. Barbary, great friend of the show, the OG horseman. He trains a horse called Mahagoni, if you remember yep. correctly. A yep. horse, a horse. Mm -hmm. Remember there all the confusion and we thought Barb's butchered the name? Yeah. We thought, oh, he's butchered that. Yeah. But, but he trains it, so surely not. And turns out, no, no, he didn't. It's called Mahagoni. Well, mm. Mahagoni decided he doesn't want to be a horse anymore. He said, I want to be a greyhound. Mm. So he underwent a procedure and he's now <laughs> a greyhound named Mahogany. How good's that? So Sandown Park, race five, number six, equal favourite, uh, oh, Mahogany. Let's go. He now <laughs> identifies as a dog. That's right. Because <clears throat> you can. No one. And, he, and, and he's possible got, now. But he's got horse in him, so that's why he's favourite. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, that's good. So what box are we out of grapes? Six? Six, yeah. Box six. $3.10. So he was two ninety about, what's that, half an hour ago. Mm. Just got the little... I've just loaded him. Little... <laughs> just got Responsibly the, the loaded. Little blows a little bit. I'd love to get a win here. Oh, me too. Jeez, I'd love to win this. That'd be great. It's always uh, good when you when you get one here because it sets you up for a couple more responsible ones on the weekend. I week know. It's perfect, isn't it? Mm. What have we got? When what else have we got here? In, uh, I've got a fucking cracking story from Albion Park Beautiful. Greyhound track last week when I was there too on Thursday night. <laughs> and it was just packed. <laughs> yeah, when there the was place just, was just going People off. everywhere. Couldn't get a seat. Mm. <laughs> like a core at a club game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they get loaded. A GWS <clears throat> final. Mm. Here we go. <laughs> getting loaded. Hopefully Mahogany's got some early speed. Yep, here we go. Green Long light. race too, 595 yep. metres. Green's on. Lap and a half. Get out early and just... Oh, oh. oh no. No, he's pushing through very wide. Oh, very right. wide. He stayed out of trouble though, Tom. Yep. Right. Stayed right out of trouble. Here we go. Is he Definitely the best... in it. Oh, that's the other fade. Definitely but in it. Is he just the best dog in the race? Well, let's hope. Eight looks very, very good. <laughs> yeah, he was the other fave. Right now. But Jeez, we did not get a good start, and he is motoring. But, he, but he he's coming home. There. I doubt he will get the eight He's here. not going to get the eight. I doubt he will get the eight. But that's a massive run. It is. Very wide but run. that's a massive run mm. to run second, second there. I reckon oh. he ran probably... Oh. He probably ran 6.30. But you know <laughs> what's good about better? I just had a little token on that, so I will get 50% of my money back in real cash. Fucking oath. And how much better is that? Yeah, you can take it out. Yeah. If you, <laughs> if you right. make want. You don't have to So get that right up here. It. Anyway. Yeah. Well, that was very subdued. It was. Well, <laughs> I wasn't confident because he nearly hit the outside rail. Yeah, on the first corner. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. But. Um, you get that that's what happens jobs. in out of box six. That does. Ta talk to right. me about, about couple, Albion. Couple of stories. Mm. I couldn't stop laughing. I was pretty drunk at this point. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is after Brecky Creek. This is after Brecky Creek. Yeah. I'm off the timber. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Button put a trifecta on. Yeah. And I can't remember the exact numbers, but I know eight and five were in there. And they were easily come first and second. Yeah, right. But there was a photo for third. And oh. he had number one, but we didn't have a fucking clue what even was near third or fourth. We were watching the the race for the win. Yeah, yeah. And I went, oh, it's a photo. Eight, <laughs> eight five, and a photo. <laughs> and then Barb goes, eight, five, and a camera. <laughs> <laughs> just right in me ear, just goes, five, eight, and a camera. <laughs> And I just thought it was the funniest oh, fucking Barbary. thing. So I just Heady. kept saying, camera. Camera. Yo, camera. <laughs> How'd he go? It was, uh, what's that? Heady. He Heady. got Did it. Did he get it? Yeah. Yeah. It was a dead heat, though. So he only got half of his stake. Oh, fuck. Dead heat for third, man. Yeah, right. Fucking unreal. Um, but the major story the to camera. come out of the night <laughs> was um, the Ricky Ponting memorabilia that we got. Yeah, yeah. That so Goffy's given us that. And then we're on our way, walking over there from Brecky Creek, 
and fucking Barb's phone goes off text. It was Goffy. Mm. And he goes, have a look at Sandown Park, race fucking seven, number one. Or I think it was race seven. Doesn't matter. We get it up. Ponting was its name. <laughs> We're life. like, no fucking way. It pissed in, oh. paying eleven dollars. Did you just get on it? Oh shit! Yes. Yeah. <laughs> See, See? <laughs> just juju. That's the it fucking, fucking. That's like punting love stories. That shit. It, I love it. It jumped out the box, like flew out the box. Yeah. The best, like. Best you could hope for. Yeah. And then it was almost going too well. Oh, <laughs> we were yeah, like, yeah. oh, no. And it did get tired late, but it won by a couple oh, of lanes. Oh, that's sick. Fuck, we were How going How good off. is that? Oh, yeah. That's we awesome, mate. Off. Uh, and then <laughs> another juju that we should have backed. Mm. There was two in this race. One was called <laughs> <laughs> One was called St. Tommy, yeah. and I was with two Toms. Yeah. But. The number six. So I was there and Barb's was there, and we know Barb's can fucking talk. Mm. <laughs> and there's a dog called Gallon of Yap. <laughs> <laughs> that would have steamed home. And I went, cut, we got a back gallon of yap. Yeah, right. And um, we did, and St. Tommy pissed in. Yeah, and right. <laughs> was paying about $12. And oh. I was like, fuck. How do we do that? Gallon but of I, yap, though. <laughs> oh, I know. That was br- that's It was brilliant. too good. Too yeah, good, good. To be true. That's great. Mate. Right, eh? That's why punting's good, eh? Yeah. It's about None getting about on that. shit that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Gallon of yap. Gallon I just of went, yap. Barb's this be the best story ever. If it yeah, wins. yeah. <laughs> Better didn't. Um, not oh, to worry. Well. Let's have a punt. Let's have a punt, Let's eh? uh, have a look how we went last week, mm. actually. Sounds good. Let's head to the championships. Go on a similar thing, man, with the should happen thing. I've got a multi here, two-leg multi. I'm going Pereira to win by KO, TKO. And then I'm going Panthers to win 1-12, to currently at $3.25, which I think is fucking great value from Beto. I think it should be paying around the $4 mark. Yeah, you got I'm pretty sure. Nice. If you, if, if, yeah, so I'm going all five units on that as well. Group one racing, Turnbull Stakes, via Sustina, should be winning this. Four units at $4.40 seems amazing to me. Reggie's TBR here for the group one segment, and this week, the Turnbull Stakes, I'm going to go with via Sustina. I'm going to have four units to win at $4.60. I think that's good shopping. Old boys versus the cold sores. <laughs> no matter how much crap we put on you, you keep coming back. <laughs> Randall, race nine, over 1,600 metres. That's awesome. Horse no. nine, Tom Kitten, two units at $4.20 for a place. Jump on in, stay hard. Beautiful stuff. A few wins. No, it was good, mate. A couple of wins on the trot in the championships. Yeah. Got myself away, fairly away from the minus 100. Yep. I've hit it in the old boys, but That's at least right. I've saved myself in the champs. For There's, a um, I don't know... If uh, another fella here knows how close he's getting, oh, in uh, in the champs, oh, who's he's, that? he's got a week and a half. That's Jace. Yeah, right. He's got a week and a half of losing. Yeah, to to get there. Oh well, <clears throat> hopefully and he pulls his fingers out. Is, the footy's done now, and there's no UFC, so I'm pony boy today. Yeah, <laughs> fucking oath. We're all. On I know the even less about cars than I do about horses, so I was staying the <laughs> fuck away from Bathurst. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, oh. Well. That's what uh, all your other followers, <laughs> hopefully, yeah. doots all over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was our <laughs> bet this week over there. Cam yeah. took that on board. Beautiful. Righto, championships. Let's go. go. Um, I think I'm going to do something foolish here. All right. I really, I half want to do it. I think I might just do it. I want to take broadsiding on oh, in the guineas. Do so ya. it sounds insane, but hear me out. Okay. One. The second up syndrome has been around a bit this spring Mm -hmm. when horses have been second up, been going shit. Two, he's never, ever been around Melbourne, Melbourne way. So running anti-clockwise. He's only ever run clockwise. So got to run on the other leg for the first time ever. Obviously would have done it at track work a heap of times, but it's different in a race. Yep. So am I just throwing money away there on a bit of false hope or well, a bit of second up syndrome and got to run anti-clockwise for the first time ever? Well, you've found a couple of things that suit your theory. Right. But I'm yeah. just going to do yeah, it. Yeah, do it. I'm, gonna <laughs> back, I'm back in Angel Capital. Okay. Unbeaten this prep. Tough, gritty win on the shittest part of the track last start. This is the definition of third up 
peaking because mm-hmm. this is the Caulfield Guineas. It's been targeted for this race. Should be absolutely peaking. Peaking. $9 a win and $2.20 to find out if broadsiding can't run anti-clockwise. I think I like those odds. Pretty good value. So I'm going to have two two and a half units each way on him. Sounds uh, good, mate. Money back <clears throat> if he runs a drum and printing if... He gets the cash. Yeah, well, there so, you go. Taking him on. Taking on broad siding. Good stuff, brother. Hopefully, at least runs a drum. And yeah. then you're getting better odds for him to place than you are broad siding to, to win. To win. So. And he's a pretty good chance of win, uh, coming a place. Hopefully. Yeah, Hopefully. Yeah. Should be good. Good barrier. Yep. yep. Good barrier. Has He's one from one at the track. Who's on board? So, Benny Mellum, I think. Yep. Let me just fucking, you go ahead yeah, and too I'll easy. just confirm that Yeah, for so, you. like we said, going for three on the trot and the champs, and I'm not fucking around here. I'm going a two-horse win multi here. Mm-hmm. So, first one, I'm adding to Caulfield Race 3, horse number six, a little too deep. A Ooh. sentence you haven't heard too often, mate. <laughs> Um, <laughs> perform <laughs> has it been performing. It's named since a little deep, not a little too deep. I thought it was a little too no, deep. No, no, a little deep. Oh, <laughs> but still, haven't heard it. Well, a little, <laughs> a little deep. Sorry, not too deep. So yeah, horse number six, a little deep. Um, it's been performing since his last spell. Two first and a second out of three starts. Draws barrier two. Mark Zara on board. I think it wins. Yep, paying three forty. So, and then we are pairing that with Rose Hill Race 9, Alentia. First up with a good first up record. It's got three wins and a second out of four starts first up. Yep. Draws barrier three. Tommy Berry on board. I just think it wins as well. You pair that in a multi and it is paying $9.18 and I'm putting all five units on that. Thanks to our met- mates over at Better. Beautiful stuff. Fucking that's me. Um, Now... I just want you to be aware that a little deep is also nominated in race nine at Rose Hill against right against Olencia. Mm, okay. <laughs> so, so if that if it if that happens, I'll just go all five units on Olencia. Yeah, yeah. But hopefully it gets scratched from Sydney and yeah, races in Melbourne. That's what I'm hoping. And but if it doesn't, if that doesn't happen, I will be backing it at mm. Sydney because. You've just said you're going to take a lynch here. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> Imagine that. That yeah. has got fucking heartbreak written all over yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> 100%. But anyway, that's that's what I'm going. If yep. all goes to plan, if not, all five will be on a lynch We'd be able to work Barry. it out yep. if we did a little research because the horse would be in the city that it's running right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what right I mean? Right. But I can't be fucked. So yeah, me neither. We'll wait and see. Um, Should we hear from Jace? We'll hear from Big mm. Red and then we'll um, go to our... I do not have the list now. Oh, oh, I'll get that for you while we're listening, well, we're to, listening the red. to Red. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll listen to Red while cool. we're getting that. All uh, right, up championships. Well, I'm going with something a little bit different. You got to look outside the box. There's no leagues, no AFL. So straight up, I'm going to Caulfield. Uh, Caulfield race seven. We're going to start with. It's going to be a three leg multi. So we're going Caulfield race seven. Mr. Brightside to win. Class above. Won't lose. On a Caulfield race eight, the Guineas, uh, this also won't lose, broadsiding. <laughs> and then I'm going to go Kalos, I think it's pronounced, uh, in race nine for the place. So the first two to win, Kalos to place. Uh, it's paying $4.50, and I'm just going to slap all five units on. Thank you very much. He's just very, very confident. Very com- <laughs> oh, well, you got to be because yeah, it yeah. is um, broadside yeah. and... Uh, Broadsiding. Mm. I'm gonna BB. take broadsiding. Uh, take broadside on the next segment. Yeah, too. <laughs> right. Fucking so. hell! You just you just chose to wake up. You woke up and chose violence. Yeah, I did. Hey, hey. Quinn, can I just mad dog you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, For man. reference, Grover calls air dropping mad dogging <laughs> or sick hunting because he used to have a Motorola. Because it's sick to be able to air drop. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh. Now the listener. <laughs> Had a fucking great name. Yes. Did you, did you, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Strangey. Strange. Ethan. Oh, yeah. let's go. <laughs> oh. Oh. Can you share with his actual name? Though? If you don't know, Ethan Strange is a rugby league player. Mm. And this guy, our fucking dedicated listener, who Reggie has given the, given the punting 
uh, five units to his name is Kai Normal. Yeah. So obviously strange. Straight away. Straight Kai away. Strange. And then I just went Ethan. Ethan, <laughs> Ethan Strange <laughs> on the tip on the betting today for the listeners. Yeah. Let's what see. is he going to come up with? What's going on, Reggie's? How are we? Good, mate. Strangey here. Can't believe the old burner accounts made the cut. Got a six-leg NFL multi first game. Atlanta Falcons, NFL. Carolina Panthers. Wow. Got the Falcons to win. Kirk Cousins, two-plus passing touchdowns. Kirk Cousins, 250-plus passing yards. I like this. Into mm. the Commanders and the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens to win. Lamar Jackson, 200-plus passing yards. Lamar Jackson, 50-plus rushing yards. There you go. Take it easy. Best of luck. Should be paying about ten dollars. Jump on it. Fucking bang! I was not expecting that at no, all. No, this is the but first NFL good. bet ever. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I, I'm fucking. I'm happy with anything as Fuck long as yeah. it's not tonight. <laughs> 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 anything That's that you prime. can bet on, bet are. I love it. Fucking get into your work. Um, yeah, I've been trying to watch a bit, eh? Have you? Just because get a few Mondays off and yeah. that and. Sunday night football's on on the Monday mornings. It is tough work just because it's a bit slow, but yeah. if you actually try and get into it and understand the rules, it's a pretty good game. Yeah, it would be. It's just um, a fucking, like you said, you need a fair bit of time if you really want to dedicate to watching a whole game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I think I said it on here the other day, the top 40 most watched things in America every year is NFL games. Mm. Like out of every single thing watched on telly. Really? The top 40 are all football games. Imagine the fucking coin. Because you got the baseball and the basketball as well, but because they yeah. play 100 games, yeah. like, because these only play 17 games in the regular season. Yeah, yeah. It's like. Full on. Fuck, man. The be Super Bowl mu- would be absolutely oh, insane. Oh, yeah, that'd yeah. be number one every yeah. year. But, like, the next 39 are still all football games. Yeah, that's it's cool. Fucking wild. Um, good on you, Kai. Yeah. Love your work. Nice, mate. Uh, let's go get into the B1 versus B2. This segment's really <laughs> tightened up. Tom, I'm just going to get the get done the spready the, up. Done the spready up today, so I'm fucking keen to talk about it. Uh, there's only 17 units. Oh wow! Really? Between B1 and B2. Oh, yeah, yeah. That yeah. is not far at all. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a, a that's a little fucking favourite bet, nearly. Like, yeah, and then is... just hope button loses or something. Wow. Barb Pressure actually is asked on. me last week when I was with him. He said, "What are you going to do when, like, if I overtake him in the group one?" I'm like. Well, I'll start saying that fucking you're his dad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. obviously. That's right. <laughs> you just got to get there, mate. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I'll get fucked. What? He's done it. <laughs> He's done it. Has he? In the group one. Oh. Is he above him in the group one? He is. But how do we go about he's this? He's two units in front of him. But how do we go about it, though, if he's still behind him in the in their segment, but he's ahead in the... In the group one, does that make him his dad? Oh no, sorry. He has to be. Yeah, he has yeah, to be yeah. B one to be dad. Sorry, yeah, yeah. my bad. But you yeah. are beating him by two units. Yeah, in the so group one segment. it's tightening up. Barbary oh. has fucking lifted. He has. There was a stage where I was thinking he is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to admit, in my head. The confidence was down. It was, yeah. But now the tail is wagging. Yep. He's got heaps of pats. Yeah. And fucking, <laughs> he's and a back, smacko. He's back right under the hungee. Fucking oath, Barbary. Fucking oath, Barbary. I'm Let's go. It. I'm loving it. Let's go. But we will hear from B1 first. We will. Because he's still Barbary. He'll be G'd barber. up for Bow and Cup. Yeah, yeah. Oh. He'd be pumped. Yeah. <laughs> Reggie's TBRB1 here, and this week I've selected a couple of horses in Brisbane. I'm going to go with race five, number five, Tiger Shark. This horse uh, can take one run to get one or two runs to get to his top form, but I think this is the most winnable race the horse has been in, and he trialled really well. He won a trial leading into this. So I'm going to have two units to win on him at $8.50. I think that's great shopping. And then we're going to go to <laughs> like race that. nine, number 11, Belvedere Boys. This is a horse I've had some luck with before on this show uh, in the highways in Sydney. Matty Dunn's brought him back to Brisbane. He's drawn barrier three. He's got Martin Harley aboard. I just think there's a lot of ticks in his box, uh, a lot of boxes ticked in his favour. So I'm going to go with him for two units to win on $5.50. And because I'm a slut for multi, I'm going to have a one unit multi on the two of them. Nice. Good luck. Happy punning. And remember, the Moya, the fucking Moya. Glorious. I love when he goes to Brisbane. Mm. Just 
fills me with confidence. Bloody oath. Well, is it? Is he trying to get in one Barb the Brizzy Horseman's head? You reckon? <laughs> and oh, I know maybe. your backyard more than you do. Barbs. <laughs> Hope Barbs goes to fucking Bowen. Oh, mate. No, you no, can't. There's no, <laughs> yeah. there's no uh, TAB meeting there. So. Come on, Barbary. I, like, I'm not cheering for either of the gentlemen because I yeah. love them both, but fuck, it'd be great content if Barbary slips past him oh, just oh, to yeah. hear the absolute carry yeah, on. Yeah, but we've been fucking longing for it. Oh, we have. All year. Been rooting. We've tried. We've tried. We've tried to G him up ourselves. But it's working. It is. It's yeah, just I like know. an old diesel. Slow it takes him to fucking wild. <laughs> Yeah, fire up. Yeah. A couple of oil changes. <laughs> Strap the turbo on the cunt. <laughs> right. Oh, Come on, Barbs. Come on, Barbs. Reggies. Well, another week. Uh, fucking bumper days racing this weekend, boys. Um, and for my best bet, I'm going to go to Caulfield Race 9. The uh, Scalati Stakes, actually one of my favourite races of the carnival, this race. It's Group 2 Sprint over 1,100. Um, quite a good field, actually, for this race, but uh, I'm going to go with uh, number three recommendation for Kieran Maher and Blake Shin. Uh, track and trip specialist, three starts at the track and distance for two wins. Um, he's a very, very good galloper. Uh, got beat. In the uh, Moya last start by obviously Southport Tycoon growing in and I wish I win. And Mooney Valley doesn't really suit this horse in my humble opinion. And I think back to Caulfield, 1100 blinkers go on. I think he'll be very, very hard to beat from barrier six. Beeson will give him a lovely run and uh, I think he'll be too strong over the top of him late. So I'm going to have three units to win on him. That's Caulfield race nine, number three recommendation at $4.40 with our wagering partner, Bet R. In my other two units, I'm going to have a three-leg multi at Caulfield. Uh, and these are oh, all wonder. things, well, these first two oh, legs wonder. are things that just, you know, should happen. Tommy, Jace, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, mate. Just should happen. Uh, I'm going to go race seven, the Might and Power Stakes, the old Caulfield Stakes, 2,000 metres weight for age. Number one, Mr. Brightside at $1.65. Uh, then I'm going to go to the Caulfield Guineas, race eight. Number one, Broadsiding at $1.55. Uh, he was absolutely phenomenal in the uh, Golden Rose last start, and I think he'll go on with it here again. Um, all up, my best bet of the day in race nine, number three, recommendation. And for the three-leg multi, you get $11.25. I'm going to have two units on it, boys. So mm. hopefully Butts will do his fucking ass again, and I'll go <laughs> right on board, that big red-headed fucker. Anyway, <laughs> uh, good to see you last week, Gropes. <laughs> fucking great night spent at the uh, Albion Park Dogs. All fucking 11 blokes that were there. I think we doubled their bar tab, actually, between me, you, and the fucking big girth, red fucking-headed fella from up at the phone. But anyway, boys, <laughs> let me bets this week. Keep it stiff, lads. Happy uh, punny. Fucking hell. Beautiful, Barbary. <laughs> that was good. Oh, <laughs> man. It never fails to fucking make us I'll laugh. I'll be fucking keep, Like, I always have a look at the boys' bets and chuck them on and, and have yeah. a look, but I'll be watching very keenly. Yeah. Th- this weekend because like these two, I just can't wait to see it erupt if fucking yeah, one yeah, of the yeah. takes. It's funny like I'm gonna make excuses to not back the two faves. Yeah, but then the the easy way out is to go. They're the best horses. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. are the best. Similar horses. to what I've done in the group one. <laughs> they are the best horses in the race. Yeah, I'm gonna back it. Yeah, but no, no, I've decided. Oh well, this might happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's running the other way round the track. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just clawing for excuses Yeah, just sniffing it out <laughs> But that's alright um, Love your work, Barbs On your Barbs Fucking love your work, mate Let's get into the group one Let's do it It's the two rack The two rack the two handicap rack. Uh, This has got to be one of the only group ones That has run the last race of the day yeah, you They've don't done see it. it often, do you? They've done this, I believe they did it last year with the same race. Is that to keep people hanging around on the piss? I don't know. But if that's the case, you do it every time. Yeah, don't know. Um, so you got the Might and Powers race seven, uh, and then you got the Guineas is race eight, and then you have the Scalacci, which is not a group one race, but it is like a famous race. And then the Tour Act, normally it would be seven, eight, nine group ones, mm. and then the, the last one's your, your lesser. But, um, look, there is three, probably, the the three at the top, because it's a handicap, makes sense that the three at the top are the, the ones that are 
shortest in the market. Yep. Uh, they carry the most weight. But Desert Lightning, I'm su- I wonder if Barb's is going to be on that because that was what got him back into the conversation mm. in the um, in the B1 Depends on if he's um, hanging off moods. He actually, yeah, that's right. He actually meets. So he beat home uh, Magnus Spin and Craig mm. in the, in that last race. And although he's the toppy, he actually meets him better off at the weights. Yeah, right. Because he had to carry 59 and a half last start and these two carried 54. Now he only carries 57 and these two have still got to carry 53 and a half. Yeah, so, so he actually meets him better off even though he's the toppy. Yep. Um, I reckon surely Barbary's going to be all over that. I'm going to back um, Big Antino, I reckon. Yeah. He's got the Mr. Brightside Pride of Jenny form. Over 1,600. He's run third to those two twice in a row now. Mr. Brightside's the best 1,600-metre horse in the country. Yep. And we know that Jenny, what she does. Jenny, so yep. he got closer last time. He was only 2.3 lengths off Mr. Brightside, who runs second at Mooney Valley. And I think Caulfield in a handicap, cherry ripe for him. $4.80. I'm going to have uh, four units on him at 480 And then I'm going to have a box Quinella. With Antino and another Will because another Will's the best horse uh, probably in the race yep. between him and Antino. Barrier one, he gets back, so barrier one's a bit like, eh, is he going to get out? But yep. if he gets out, hundred percent should be should be running top two. Yep. So I'm going to have the three and the four Antino and another Will in a box Quinella. Yep. One unit, so I'll get a hundred percent. Of the Quinella. Yeah, yeah. Whatever the Quinella pays, that'll be my return. Yep. Oh, sweet as. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. That's what I'm McDoing. That's what you're McDoing. <laughs> Should we hear what big yeah, Bedar yeah. Ben is <laughs> McDoing? <laughs> What's Bedar Ben doing? <laughs> Reginald, Group 1 racing on Saturday. We're off to the two rack. Antino appears to have the strongest lead in form. Um, we'll be right in the finish. But I'm going to play a little wider with the New Zealand Mayor Orchestral at $10 a win and $3 a place. That's very good credentials. Two from two second up and two from two at the distance. Stackhouse riding in fine form, as you seen last week. Nearly winning on arm, made at $81. Let's have two units each way. And with my other unit, I'll have a box Quinella, number three Antino, number six Orchestral, and number 12 Osipenko, giving us a mighty... 33.3% 33.3% of the official bet are dividend. Until next week, happy button, stay safe. Nice. On your Keats. Nice. <clears throat> he didn't sound too stressed. No. Nah. He must have got a heap done today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> must have done a heap of supervising out the track. Yeah, yeah, making sure all the zip ties were cut off right. <laughs> <laughs> and not by button. No. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. Or he has been passed out on a cable tie, I've heard. Oh, yeah. that's good. Good to hear it. Um, I Mate. have got a cracking story, actually, yeah. about Button after we we'll right move on. on. But right. I've Sounds got to, good. I have to tell it. Mate, Antino looked really good as well, and it was either that or another Will for me, but I just thought, I just think another Will's going to win. Mm. I just could, I was about to go Antino, and I went, no, I just think another Will wins, $2.70. Um, yeah, oh, I'm just going all five units on it, man. Yeah. I just think it wins. Yep. But – Antino will be fucking sniffing. It's not a huge field. There's only 12. Mm. But um, if it gets out from barrier one. Yeah. Like, it just can't get win. sort of trapped. Yeah. And yeah. just stuck behind But hole. if it gets out, it should win. Uh, the other thing with him is Jamie Carr's suspended. So yep. not riding. Mm. Um, which is a shame for her, but she did cop that uh, suspension. Yeah. Which puts her out. But Michael D, obviously not. Uh, any slouch no. by any means. So, yeah, no, good bet. Yep. Rocket. Right. Rocket. Boys, punters, Queenslanders, Rockets, Ruffies, raring to go. Group one tip this week is Horse 9, Craig. Oh, Jumping out of gate Craig. 12, four-year-old chestnut Chris. gelding. He's in form. He's got a 100% place rate, 42% win rate. Look for him late. Five units mm. at $8.50 to win. Jump on him, stay hard. Nice. Nice old nice. Craig. Love that name, Cut. That's Craig. one of those ones at the pub. And Craig is on. I had no on. idea. 
That is so good. The Craig Craig. Williams is riding it. Craig and Craig. Craig got, on Craig. I got Craigged last week by on the, Bella Nefertina. Yeah, right. Oh. Have you been Craigged a fair bit in your punting career? Yeah. Yeah. Not a fan of Craig. Not a big, not a huge fan. Yeah, like but don't at the same time, I am the first one to go, look, they have a very hard yeah. job. <laughs> yeah. So I can't be too crit. I can't fucking be a hypocrite. Yeah, yeah. And say, oi. But you're not yelling at him, you're yelling at the TV. The jocks have got, they're doing 60K an hour and they've mm. got split seconds to make decisions. Yeah, the undies <laughs> have got a shit job. <laughs> yeah, <old> jock. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, Craig's on Craig. Craig on Craig. Barrier 12, perfect for him. It's yep. the widest barrier, but gets back and yeah. launches. Sings. Launches late. Yeah, yeah. So, well, look for Craig late. That was Robert the words. Reckons. That was the words. Mm, look for him. Looky. Lookity. Lookity. <laughs> Right, let's go, Chase. Group one racing. Uh, keep this one simple as well. I'm going to back Antino. It's going to base in the rest of this field. I think this is a class above. Um, rate's pretty high here. It's got decent form recently, but I think it's finally um, building up for this one after a few places. So Blake Shin on board. Golan trained. Jumping out of barrier eight, uh, $4.80. I'm just going to go all five units on it. Simple. Lovely. Nice. Nice. Makes it easy. Copy and paste into the spreadsheet. Yep. <laughs> Pedro. Pedro. G'day, Reggie's Group 1 Racing. Caulfield Race 10. The Toric, over 1,600 metres. And I definitely have no idea what I'm fucking doing here. <laughs> So I'll throw a dart clean at number six, Orchestral. Oh. oh. Barrier six. Daniel Stakehouse on the back. It's uh, thanks to Bet Arts, paying 10 bucks. There you go. So them odds are in my ballpark. It's uh, last two wins come off 1,600 metres, so I'm hoping it's going to fucking do it again. So I have five units on number six, Orchestral. Beautiful. Cheers, boys. Attack. Love his work. On your Pedro. That's He's, two of the boys. Uh, yeah. How but, is the spreadsheet going, Gropes, in the group one? Uh, better Ben yep. has taken the lead. Yeah, yeah. But only by five units yeah, to you. Right. Oh, really? Yeah. Fuck me. You're in the positives, mate. How good is that? positive four. That's fucking <laughs> unreal. Oi, and I'm not going to jinx it, but the two blokes to go, no one else is on another wheel No, yet. that's right. But uh, <clears throat> Pedro's only... Minus 10. Yeah, yeah. And better Ben's on 10. Yeah, yeah. But they've both jumped on the same thing. So. Let's fucking go, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone, go. Everyone's actually sniffing around. Yeah, yeah. Like the last. Yeah, it's not too. It's probably this one segment that we're all not just minus being 40, pounded in. Minus 40 is fucking last. Yeah. And that positive is... 10 is first. Yeah, you look at some of the other segments. Yeah, it's, oh, uh... yeah it's fucking demolition. <laughs> that's only 50 units between first and last. Yeah, that's great stuff. So, Coming into some great racing. Oh, too. yeah. The best. Awesome. Um, right. Now, as we said earlier, we have to hear from Barb's first. Yep. And then his dad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Righto, boys. Group one racing, classic Caulfield, the Heath, the old stomping ground. Race 10, the Highland Race Colours, two-rack handicap. Uh, strapped in this race a couple of times. Actually had a little bit of success. Run second behind horse called uh, Typhoon Tracy. You might have heard of it. <laughs> Fucking nearly going to win on the turn. Two till Zan's Island shut the fucking gate. But anyway, we probably wouldn't have beat her, but it would have been nice to run second. Uh, Cheers, great mate. race, boys. Um, <laughs> fucking hard race, to be honest. Mm. Another Will. I just don't know where the ceiling is with him, and I don't really want to be back in $2.40 favourites in Group 1s. $2.70. Seventy. Um, no, I've done it extensively on the show, but it's been horses like Mr. Brightside and Broadsiding when they're lengths and lengths above the rest of the field. I just don't know where the ceiling is with another wheel. Uh, Craig, he does worry me. His racing pattern worries me, and there doesn't seem to be a hell of a lot of a lot of speed in this race. He's going to have to get back and, and come with one barnstorming run. Um, I think I'm going to have to stick fat, boys, from the horse that uh, he is. shut the gap. <laughs> On uh, V1 the other day, and I'm just going to tip the one Desert Lightning. There you We're going to have go. two Bars. units to win at nice. sevens and three units to place at 225. We're a wagering partner, Better. Get on there. Barrier 11 a little sticky, but drawn inside Craig. Probably got a little bit more tactical speed than some of these horses in the race, so I think he'll probably go forward. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm swinging off Moody's dick again. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. he'll, be, uh, he'll be right in the race. He'll give you a run for your money, a bit of value. Um, I think Antino will get back, and he'll need all the luck in the world as well. Orchestral, where's, where's she at? Um, El Safina, again, you don't know where she's at either. 
It's uh, quite an intriguing and tricky race. So that'll be my bets, boys. Uh, two units to win, three units to place. Number one, Desert Lightning. Keep it stiff, lads. Happy punning. Glorious. I love this when the boys are spread. Yeah, this yeah, gives yeah. Like, it's, it's good. It's good fucking watching the race and there's a fair few on different shit. What do we reckon Button's going to back? Mm. I reckon he'll back something different as well. Yeah, well maybe I, not. I don't maybe reckon not. he'll go the favourite. It's a bit too short. No, he might not go another Will, but no. you reckon he'll go Antino? Yeah, I'm, I'm tipping him to go Antino. Will he, blow, will he go down the page here? Maybe. Maybe you'll just go fully left field. Because you got these two here at double figures, but right down the bottom you got Osipenko at twelve dollars. Mm. Like that seems yeah, Reason. in his park. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, well, let's see. Let's just stop fucking guessing yeah. <laughs> and listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie's TBR here for the group one segment. This week the Turak handicap to be run the last race in Caulfield this Saturday. Look, uh, pretty even field. I thought there's um, there's a, obviously a couple that have been racing in a little bit better better um, fields like Antino and that. But um, look, I'm going to go with one down the bottom. Number 12, Osipenko. Oh. This horse, his fourth last start inside barrier nine. Oh. On the way up, run midfield oh, wow. in a Stradbroke handicap. I think in the words of Ben Keating, this horse will be peaking third up. Oh, and uh, I'm going to have... Two units to win, two units to place on it. And because I'm a whore for a first four, listen up. Here's the numbers. Three, four, nine, twelve. Good luck. Happy punning. And remember, the Moya. The fucking Moya. Oof. Mate. That is good. Fourth last start inside, inside nine. nine. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and Chris Waller, grand final, third up. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> that has oh, got no. Winner written all over it. It does. <laughs> well, I'm that. on me Pat Malone. Yeah. Another will. On the face. If it wins, I'm fucking, I've taken the lead. <laughs> yeah. Let's fucking go. <laughs> yeah. Group one, Dahl. Oh, wow. Well, I'd never think I would ever hear that <laughs> in my life. You know why? Why? The fucking. UK. Yeah, the UK. <laughs> and then you took it. You, it hurt me. You took me out of it. You said, this can't. I need to get him out of the UK. Three from three in the UK. <laughs> I just love We had to fuck horse. him off. Yeah. Um, oh, that's awesome. Now. Great spread there across the group one this week. Story about Button. Story. This is fucking hilarious. Mm -hmm. I wish I could remember the name of the town, but I can't. Yeah. So I'm just going to say it without the name. He's taken one horse on a Thursday or something. Yep. Maybe it was a Tuesday out to the a country meeting, which wasn't even – I don't even think it was a TAB meeting. It yeah, was just, yeah. It might have been, though. Yeah, yeah. But he's going to bumfuck. Five hours, one way. Mm. One horse. Wow. So one race, one horse. Pretty confident. Going five hours yeah. west. Wow. Fucking no service out there. Can't find the track. Oh, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> Oh, oh. So he's fucking I'm trying to get Google Maps to work, cannot get it to work, cannot find the track, couldn't ring the stewards to say, I don't know where I'm going. So they are looking for him. The race is about to, you know, he's about to fucking, mm. his horse is about to be scratched. Yeah. But also his partner's there riding. Oh. And everyone's going, where the fuck is he? And she's going, he should be here. Well, everyone's going, he should be here. Yeah. So I'm like, were they thinking you'd fucking crashed and oh, shit? Like, no. you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, couldn't find it, missed the race, drove back home, 10 hour round trip for fuck all. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, button. Button. Oh man, that's a shock. I wasn't here. You'd to, be that off. You'd because... be that offered, wouldn't you? Imagine that drive home. You would have been <laughs> steaming. Yeah, I don't out know. Out of the ears, he would have been. But then, when he's got back into service and looked up where he was, he was like, I don't know how he didn't hear him. Oh, he was proper close as <laughs> he fuck. He was fucking right there. Oh no, that's even worse. <laughs> You'd hope you're fucking ten k off. Oh, 20. fuck! I was laughing. Man. Oh, that's a shocker. Anyway, oh, well, you expect you'd be able to get some service somewhere mm. to at least look it up. Yeah, but you next would. time maybe go the old school map. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good on you, mate. Uh, should we do the fucking new segment? Look, I'm pretty excited. Um, I think we should do the new segment. Let's do the new <coughs> segment. Thanks to Bet R, of course. Fucking oh, thanks to our mates over at Bet R. It's a bit of a mixture how this come about, isn't it, mate? Yeah. There was a bit of yeah, there uh, was. Keto sort of had an idea about how we should involve a dart. 
a dart and board. A dart board. Yeah. You know, and then we thought throwing a few ideas around about having a, a segment where we have a big race and we throw a fucking dart at the board to pick the horse. Yeah. Had a chat to our mates at Better and we've come up with the Better Dart of the Week. So <laughs> what we're going to do is each week we're going to pick a, uh, a race with a fuckload of horses in there. Hopefully 20 or more. There's more than 20 in this one. And we're going to have a turn each week. Left-handed, eyes closed. We've purchased a dartboard. Throw it at the board. Wherever it lands, that is our horse. And depending on what horse it is, Bet R are going to make a special market for yep. the Reggie's listeners that's available on the app under the Bet R specials. Reggie's dart. Fucking oath. Um, yeah, Bet- so like Tom said... Depending on, let's say we land on one and it's paying three bucks to win, mm. we might get a little special market that he's got to win by half a length or something. Yeah, that's you know? right. Or if it's and then paying we'll get better 250 odds. bucks, we might go finish in the top half of the yeah. field. <laughs> or finish something. in the top 10 and but give us some decent. It's going to be fucking fun. And in these races, you may as well throw a dart at the bloody board. Yeah. So uh, and imagine if we get a win by throwing a left handed dart with your eyes closed. That's Putton, that's Reggie's, <laughs> and the Bet R boys are all around us. So. Yeah. Um, race two at Rose Hill. Yep. We talk about these midways and highways all the time, how they are dartboard jobs. Yeah. And this is no exception. Beautiful. There's 24 nominated. Yep. There's been three scratchings already as of Thursday night. Yeah. So what happens there is I'm pretty sure only 20 starters can go. Yep. So 21, 22, and 23, they're emergencies mm. and they're automatically in now because three have been scratched. Yep. So 6, 18, and 19 have been scratched. Yep. So 21, 22, and 23 go into our dartboard yep. on those numbers. For, yeah, if we hit the 6, it'll be replaced by whichever 21. horse has been replaced. If with. we hit the 18, replaced by 22. If we yep. hit the 19, it's replaced by horse number 23. Fuck, there's a bit of pressure on here, Groper. Yeah, I know. I hope I don't miss. No. <laughs> So well, you got three darts there. Yeah, I know. I've got uh, the hand over the eyes. I'm just going to line it up with my eye open. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to close the lid up. Quin- oh. Quino's move. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm going. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Seven. Seven, mate. Seven. I've You're hit it. in the seven. All I wanted to do is hit the fucking board. <laughs> there we go. Right, I, mate. What do we got? Oh, fuck. What do we got? Jay Ford on board, trained by Gary Worsnop, just like Liam at 61. 61? <laughs> 61. <laughs> 12 to run a place. $12 yeah, right. to run a place. Righto. Uh, mate, that is perfect highway form. Though. That is that is great value here. Um, $6 is your favourite, so yeah. it's open as fuck field. Yeah. It's honestly these races where the horses that come here are probably not really city horses. Yeah. They come from everywhere. They're handicaps. They're highways, and there's twenty horses in it. You may as well throw a dart. You at may a as well, board. and we have, and it's number seven. So if you like the look of that, jump on the BetR app, download it, and check it out under the BetR specials. We don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be fun. Have a look yep. with the BetR boys. Come up to with number seven race what? Race two, Rose Hill, number seven, just like Liam. Let's go, baby. Better. Fucking that is prime. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, that's great. I'm actually pumped you perfect. come up with a roughie there. Yeah. That's good. That's perfect. Awesome. The um I've got it going low and left. Yeah. Because yeah. I did one practice before and you it did. went in the same region. Yeah. Uh, didn't go on seven though. <laughs> right, oh, that's prime. Awesome. New segments underway. I can't wait. Thanks to Better. Uh, let's get into the old boys, Tom. Yeah. Do you do I need to even talk about the spreadsheet? No. <laughs> no, no. I've already I'm just It's still triple digits behind. Yeah, I know. Rocket got a little <clears throat> win last week, which yeah. wasn't ideal, but that's all right. Yeah. We'll keep fucking got a claw. We'll just keep clawing. We've got a claw. And we've heard a lot about Mr. Brightside tonight. A mm. couple of blokes are backing him and calling him an absolute M word. Oh, I won't no. I won't say it. Yeah, I right. won't say it. Even though I'm going against him, I won't say that word. Not going to do it to him. Caulfield race seven, the might and power. Number five, I don't always back her. I don't back her all the time, but I have backed her to win on this show before and a tissue. Oh, the sneeze. Should be <laughs> up there peaking. Now, yes. half of her wins have come when she's been fourth and fifth up from a spell and the 2,000 metres is just unreal and has been proven on the seven-day backup before. She raced last Saturday and she has proven 
that she like she doesn't mind the quick backup. Mm-hmm. Bright side, your dollar fifty five favourite. We know that, but he has never won over two thousand metres. I know he almost won a clock's plate last year. It was literally by the barest of margins, but still means he's never won a race over two thousand metres. Yep. So I'm going to take him on. A tissue at five dollars. Get on her now because she has to shorten. I reckon there's no way Brightside can stay at a dollar fifty-five. I wouldn't have thought. Yeah, surely yeah. not. If it was sixteen hundred, hundred percent. But two thousand meters, there's tiny little question mark there. Yeah, I reckon so. In five units, on. five dollars. Load up on a tissue. For there me. you go, Groper on. on the sneeze. Come on, I'm going to go and have one actually. Yeah, while keto. No going. worries. Let's I'm hear a, from. A bit under the weather, so. Go and blow the snot box yep. while Keto's young. Get into a mate. What's <laughs> better Ben got for us? Reginald, old boy Keto, once known as the collector, is set to strike this weekend with a little roughy early in the day to ensure we paralyse the bookies before midday. <laughs> Ramwick race one, number eight, Oakfield Waratah. Hails from the Christian Buchanan yard. Hieronymus on board, second up on Saturday. Goes all right, second up. Likes Rose Hill, and this is his best distance. He's no world beater, but just have a little feeling we can cash up early. Currently $41 the win, $10 the place. Let's have one unit each way. <laughs> then we have a J-Mac two horse win multi at Caulfield. Race four, number 14, City of Lights, $5. And race seven, number five, a tissue, also $5. I love the fact of this short backup for this horse. Multi the oh. pair, you get $25 on the bigger, the better, better. Three units on that. Happy punting. Come on, the old boys. This is unbelievable <laughs> how often that fucking happens, man. With yeah, me yeah. And him. It's almost like he's fucking oh. connected in some way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Better, Ben. Um, that first one, Oakfield Waratah, that yep. is exactly the sort of horse you should be scared about in a midway. Yeah, yeah, Rose yeah. Hill. yeah, yeah. <laughs> a bit like ours in the yeah, highway. Yeah, the dart of the week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, and then he's gone with a little J-Mac special. Mm. Bloody yeah, oath. Look, I really like a tissue, so we just need whatever other one he's on to, to maybe not get there. Yeah. Well, but if it does, we'll still cheer him on. Yeah, yeah. Um, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be good for the show. That's right. Right, oh boys. As we said, the footy's dried up. There's no good UFC stuff on this weekend, so I'm still on the horses, and I've got a mate that knows the track at Brisbane quite well. Um, so I'm heading to Eagle Farm Race Eight. I've got a little each way bet here on number five Kirkaby, paying six dollars a win, two dollars twenty five a place. Andrew Malian. On board, carrying 57 kegs. Ooh. And I'm, uh, yeah, I'm going to have two units of win and three units of place on it. And that's all you're hearing out of me. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> that's me bet. That's me bet. <laughs> that's me bet in the old boys. <laughs> that's all you're fucking getting. <laughs> that's right. Because that's what it is. If you haven't, if you're not on it yet, that's all you get. Yeah, that's right. So if you didn't hear it, rewind. If you need any more convincing, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Read what the bloke on the app writes. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Right, hey, let's hear from Rocket, eh? What's yeah. he got? Punters, Queenslanders, Rocket's Ruffies, raring to go. Old boys versus the tryhards. <laughs> All right, we're off to Rose Hill, oh. race six, over 1,400 metres. Horse five, snack bar. Boy. Jumping out of gate 12. He's a three-year-old grey gelding. Zach Lloyd on the board. Grey. Jay Cummings mm. trained. He's in form. Five units at $5. Oof. Jump on him. Stay hard. The snack. That would hurt us. Yeah, it would. 25 units, but that would yeah. hurt. Yeah. Anyway, That's on your rocket. Right. That's just a The grey, just... It, you can't not like a. Do you reckon there's anyone who doesn't like a grey? Like go, ooh, grey yeah. horse. I don't know yeah. what. A, yeah, probably some owners. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, nice bet. Right, I love his work. Um, let's go, Jace. Jace. Come on, mate. Right, I old boys, young guns. Um, still sticking with the race in here. I'm going to go Rose Hill. Race seven, uh, number one, Pericles. I'm going back ooh. to what I know, and that is. The Godolphin Blue. 
So it's a dual acceptor, but I think it's going to stick with Rose Hill, race it seven here. And it's really hard to find uh, any faults in its form, is it? It's had a win, two places in this prep. And uh, yeah, jumping out of barrier four, you got old Nash on board, $4.20. I think I'm going to slap all five units on. It's just better than the rest of this field. Kovalika, fucking pretender. So uh, yeah, cheers, boys. Have a good weekend. Have a little sly one on Kovalika. <laughs> oh, man, I agree with him. Mm. That thing... Fuck, man, it just – they always talk about how it gets no luck, but it just does not win out of turn. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> That's for sure. Royal Patronage is the obvious danger. Yeah. And it will be running at Rose Hill because it's been scratched from the Turak. Right. So Nash gets the cash, hopefully. Hopefully. Fucking nice. Us. I agree, mate. Pedro. Pedro. Talk about a bloke who needs to lift in a segment. Yeah. Is he is he the most behind out of all segments in this oh. one? Like be, you eh? could probably double a couple, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, right. Look at it. Oh. Mm. 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 <laughs> He's nearly raising the bat again. Oh, wow. Like for the 150. Yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> That's all right. Pressure's on him. Play the fucking clip. Heaps of time. <laughs> Heaps of time left. Hello, right, Reggie. Yeah. Old boys versus young guns. Let's go. Well, the fucking Panthers fucked my five legger up last week. So thanks for that. Really appreciate it. Fucking Panthers, like you needed another win. <laughs> anyway, EPL's having a rest. AFL's done. Rugby League's done. I ain't betting on fucking Bathurst, what I've been reading. So uh, I'm going to the races. Caulfield, okay. race two, number two, Sil Mulrillion. J-Mac on the back. Oh, yeah. So 1,200 metres. It, um, its last race was at 1,400 it didn't handle it too much distance for it, so it's dropped back to its pet distance, which has got a really good record. Uh, I think this is the first time J Max been on the back of it, so I'm hoping that's uh, why change. the odds are at seven dollars thanks to Better. So I'll have five units on number two at race two. Sorry, number two, Silmarillion. Nice, cheers, nice, boys, mate. Seven bucks. Yeah, that is a fucking nice bet. <laughs> yeah. That is almost a better gear change than the ultimate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gear change is putting yeah, him on. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I've been trying to go over in my head. We've t- spoken about it. Why is he so much better than all the other jockeys? Like, yeah, I, I don't just know. don't understand how. Obviously, I've never. I will never ever ride a horse. Yeah. Too fat. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. Well, now yeah. I'm just like, how is he so much better? Like, what does he feel that no one else He just does, gets you know? it done, though, doesn't he? Fuck, he just wills them over yeah, the line and they like just get there for him. Yeah. I love it. Love mm. his work. Uh, he's on 99 Group 1s, too. Wow. Yep. And he rides broadsiding this week. How so. has that been done before? 100 yeah, yep. Group 1s? There's a fair few. Three, is it, or four? Oh, well, fuck. That's pretty crazy, though. Damien Oliver. He's definitely won. Yep. Hugh Bowman. Yep. Uh, Fuck, a real... George Moore. Yeah, righto. And I can't remember if there's one more. Yeah, righto. But still he fucking... will be the youngest by a decade. Really? Yeah. How or old more. is he, J-Mac? Isn't he like fucking early 30s? Yeah, righto. How, yeah. how... What is the age sort of demographic with jocks? I like, think you can they... go till you're pretty old. Yeah, yeah. But like the rest of them, when they got to 100, they were all 40 plus. Yeah, yeah. And I'm right. fairly Fuck fucking... Fuck me, man. He's... Yeah. Let me just on confirm, track. but I... Do believe he is early thirties. Yep. Let's just have a look here. Uh, Thirty-two. Wow. Yeah, that's fucking. He's going to get there by the best part of a decade. He'll like if he gets it. Yeah. Which he will this this year. Yeah, yeah. Whether he gets it this weekend or not, we yeah, I know. But he's fucking on a red hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Broadsiding in yeah. the bloody guineas. So, ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Be co- cool to see. Um, yeah. But See how he goes. Good luck to you, J-Mac. Uh, can you please tell us how you're so much better <laughs> than everyone else? <laughs> right, right. Nah, we've got to hear from fucking Barbs and his old boy. <laughs> no, we don't. No, no, I thought it was <laughs> For some reason, I thought we were in the fucking group. Well, yeah. That's it. Anyway, that's it. Sometimes I fucking pull it up early. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah, no, I sure. think, well, we are good then. Um, yeah, make good. sure though the fucking new segment. Um, that's what we wanted to get something on the Bet R app. Yeah, you know, show our faces and that on there as well. So a bit of fun with the lads over at Bet R. Like we said, if you want to have a look at the data of the week and what the boys come up with for the special, um, download the app and check out the Bet R specials. You'll find the Reggie's podcast data of the week there. Yep.
Um, and as we say every week, thank you to Better for making the show possible. Yep. Everyone have a ripping weekend. Gamble responsibly, and we will see ya Wednesday. You will for the sports show. Fucking nice.